Well, every 10 to 15 years, the computer industry resets. A new platform shift happens. From mainframe to PC, PC to internet, internet to cloud, cloud to mobile. Each time, the world of applications target a new platform. That's why it's called a platform shift. You write new applications for a new computer. Except this time, there are two simultaneous platform shifts, in fact, happening at the same time. While we now move to AI, applications are now going to be built on top of AI. At first, people thought AIs are applications. And in fact, AIs are applications. But you're going to build applications on top of AIs. But in addition to that, how you run the software, how you develop the software, fundamentally changed. The entire five-layer stack of the computer industry is being reinvented. You no longer program the software, you train the software. You don't run it on CPUs, you run it on GPUs. And whereas applications were pre-recorded, pre-compiled, and run on your device, now applications understand the context and generate every single pixel, every single token, completely from scratch every single time. Computing has been fundamentally reshaped as a result of accelerated computing, as a result of artificial intelligence. The ability to reason about, do I have to do research? Do I have to use tools? How do I break up a problem into steps? Each one of these steps, something that, that the AI model knows how to do, and together it is able to compose it into a sequence of steps to perform something it's never done before, never been trained to do. This is the wonderful capability of reasoning. We, could, we, could be, we can encounter a circumstance we've never seen before and break it down into circumstances and knowledge or rules that we know how to do because we've experienced it in the past. And so the ability for AI models now to be able to reason, incredibly powerful. The reasoning capability of agents opened the doors to all of these different applications. The answer is synthetic data. It starts with NVIDIA Cosmos, an open frontier world foundation model for physical AI. Pre-trained on internet scale video, real driving and robotics data, and 3D simulation. Cosmos learned a unified representation of the world, able to align language, images, 3D, and action. It performs physical AI skills like generation, reasoning, and trajectory prediction. From a single image, Cosmos generates realistic video. From 3D scene descriptions, physically coherent motion. From driving telemetry and sensor logs, surround video. From planning simulators, multi-camera environments. Or from scenario prompts, it brings edge cases to life. Developers can run interactive closed loop simulations in Cosmos. When actions are made, the world responds. Cosmos reasons. It analyzes edge scenarios, breaks them down into familiar physical interactions, and reasons about what could happen next. Today we're announcing Alpamayo, the world's first thinking, reasoning, autonomous vehicle AI. Alpamayo is trained end to end, literally from camera in to actuation out. The camera in, lots and lots of miles that are driven by itself, where we human drive it, driven, using human demonstration. And we have lots and lots of miles that are generated by Cosmos. In addition to that, hundreds of thousands of examples are labeled very, very carefully so that we could teach the car how to drive. Alpamayo does something that's really special. Not only does it take sensor input and activates steering wheel, brakes and, and acceleration, it also reasons about what action it is about to take. It tells you what action is going to take, the reasons by which it came about that action, and then, of course, the trajectory. 
All of these are coupled directly and trained very specifically by a large combination of human trained and as well as Cosmos generated data. The result of it is just really incredible. Not only does your car drive as you would expect it to drive, and it drives so naturally because it learned directly from human demonstrators, but in every single scenario, when it comes up to the scenario, it reasons about, it tells you what it's going to do, and it reasons about what you, what's about to do. Vera Rubin arrives just in time for the next frontier of AI. This is the story of how we built it. The architecture, a system of six chips, engineered to work as one, born from extreme co-design. It begins with Vera, a custom-designed CPU, double the performance of the previous generation, and the Rubin GPU. Vera and Rubin are co-designed from the start to bi-directionally and coherently share data faster and with lower latency. Then, 17,000 components come together on a Vera Rubin compute board. High-speed robots place components with micron precision before the Vera CPU and two Rubin GPUs complete the assembly. Capable of delivering 100 petaflops of AI, five times that of its predecessor. AI needs data, fast. Connect X9 delivers 1.6 terabits per second of scale-out bandwidth to each GPU. Bluefield 4 DPU offloads storage and security, so compute stays fully focused on AI. The Vera Rubin compute tray, completely redesigned with no cables, hoses, or fans, featuring a Bluefield 4 DPU, eight Connect X9 NICs, two Vera CPUs, and four Rubin GPUs. The compute building block of the Vera Rubin AI supercomputer. Next, the sixth generation MV-Link switch. Moving more data than the global internet, connecting 18 compute nodes, scaling up to 72 Rubin GPUs, operating as one. Then, Spectrum X Ethernet Photonics, the world's first Ethernet switch with 512 lanes and 200 gigabit capable co-packaged optics scale out thousands of racks into an AI factory. 15,000 engineer years since design began, the first Vera Rubin MVL72 rack comes online. Six breakthrough chips, 18 compute trays, nine MV-Link switch trays, 220 trillion transistors, weighing nearly two tons. One giant leap to the next frontier of AI. So this is it. This is NVIDIA today. You know, we mentioned that we build chips, but as you know, NVIDIA builds entire systems now. And AI is a full stack. We, we're reinventing AI across everything from chips to infrastructure to models to applications. And our job is to create the entire stack so that all of you could create incredible applications uh, for the rest of the world. Thank you all for coming. Have a great CES.